Hello and welcome to this week's Building Endeavour video. My name's Andy, please join me in these weekly videos as I build Captain Cook's famous ship, the HMB Endeavour. If you do enjoy this video, I hope I've earned your subscription today, or you could just leave a like, that'd be great. Welcome aboard once again, and on this week's video, we're going to continue doing the main mast sails, and we're going to rig them just like we've done with the foremast. If we get time, we'll also put the flagstaffs in position as well, and then any other bits and bobs that I can find time to do. Okay, so let's get on with that next. Let's begin by putting the blocks in the corner of the top gallant sails for the clue lines. the four corner blocks on the top two sails now to put the clue lines in on the top gallant do that next Okay, so next, those two clue lines, I've got one of them here, have to go around this uh, front four uh, rigging bit here, about there in the, near the middle, so that's where they have to go. So we'll do that next. Alright, so this is getting really awkward to do, to get those tied on, it's not very easy to film it. Anyway, I've just tied them around temporarily, I've not glued them yet, because I want to adjust the clue lines at the top for the right tension. Uh, next we're going to put what's called the sheets, these are the, uh, let's get it in there, from the end of those row bands through that spare block there, along the yard and then again tied down below. We're going to do those next and then I'll be able to tension the clues properly. Let's do that. Right, so there's the, the top gallant sail done now, clues and the sheets. I just have to do the same now with the top sail. Uh, okay, so let's do that next.
Okay, so that's the clues and the sheets for the top mark, uh, top sail. Right, next we'll do the bunt lines for the top sail. Right, as you can see, those are the bunt lines on the port side. I'll do the same on the other side, but I'll do that off camera. Okay, and there they are on the uh, starboard side as well. The anchor point for those, by the way, is... Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, that one. They all go onto this one cleat here on both sides, both lines. Okay, on to the next bit. So next, I thought I'd take a, a wee break from doing the sails. Um, I'm going to do the flagstaffs here. There's a support that has to be painted the same colour, sort of mahogany brown that I've been using on the ship, using this uh, acrylic. Uh, and then I'm going to cut a 60 mil piece of this three mil diameter uh, AS wood uh, for the front flagstaff, and then that needs to be stained also. So let's, let's do that bit next. So that's the four jack staff shaped sand lid. Uh, it says just to glue it straight onto the bowsprit, but I'm gonna fix a bit of brass uh, rod here, so one millimeter, just to make sure that it stays more permanently positioned. Okay, there's the front flagstaff. Alright, a quick pause in the build just for a moment. As I'm discovering as I build the ship and it's getting more complicated, particularly with all the rigging, it's getting more delicate and prone to being knocked around. If you notice here, that lift has come right off there. So I'll uh, attach a piece of rope to it. Um, yeah, use a bit of super glue and then just reattach it onto there. Anyway, let's just fix this first. Okay, good as new.
All right, so before I do the bunt lines, I'm gonna do the sheets, which are these ones here that tie to the ship somewhere here, I think it's here. And of course the clue lines, which will go up here and then tied down somewhere in there. All right, let's do that next. Okay, so that's the two clue lines at the end now. Uh, I have to tie them, whoops, focus, onto that spare cleat down there. All right, now I can't show that on camera, I just can't get my, my hands just in the way all the time. So I'll put it on and then I'll show you the finished result. Okay, done. All right, now I can do the bunt lines properly. Uh, they're going to go from the yard, wrapped underneath the sail there, back up to the blocks. There's three of them here, underneath the top, and then they're secured down uh, on the deck, on the final remaining cleat that's there. All three have to go on the same cleat as well. All right, here we go. All right, so that's the port side done. Uh, I've left the um, lines here that are going to tie down, uh, the three lines just loose for the moment. I'm gonna do the other side though, off camera, and then I'll film the uh, results from that. Okay, let's do that next. All right, so I've got the bunt lines now on both port and starboard side. I've tensioned them up to where I kind of want them. Um, now I just need to uh, put these sheets on and tension the corners of each of the uh, uh, of each side of them of the sail, and then of course these. Now I've tensioned them; need to be tied down. It's going to go to this one place on that uh, that spare cleat there. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. Right, I'll do that. Okay, now I can finally put the sheets. These are the ones that go on the corner. And I'm just simply going to tie a knot at the belly point. You'll see in a second. By the way, just so you know, um, when I prepare these ends, as you can see, they're very, very stiff there because I've put super glue on the end of them so I can get through the, the holes quite easily. Right, it's got a, there's a, a belay pin just behind this stanchion here. That's where it goes. It's just simply going to be tied like this. So I've just put a bit of super glue at the end of this and that will just secure that. Okay, so that's it for this week's video. That's all I have time for. I do hope you've enjoyed it and managed to get all the way through to the very end. In next week's video, we'll be doing the mainstay sail, which goes in the space between the two sails here. So we'll be comparing that to fitting those into place. 
Uh, yeah, so please do join me next week. And until then, bye for now. <laughs>